Gestures mean more than contracts. And we said that we weren't going to be tied up by writing agreements of which we're going to hold each other. What we're going to do is we're going to trust each other. And trust we would show through a gesture of a handshake. went out with no statement, with nothing, on the stairs of the office of the president, and the media was out there, and we shook hands and embraced, and that one single moment changed the whole country. <laughs> shake hands and embrace. And since then, we have walked as brothers. We have brought on board and said that this process that we have started is not a political process, but rather a process that seeks to entrench our democracy by acknowledging that democracy alone in itself is not an answer, especially when you come from multi-ethnic nations like ours. You need a little bit more than just democracy in order for people to feel it. You need inclusivity. You've got to see how do we deepen our democracy with inclusion. Because inclusion is necessary in order for everybody to feel their part and parcel of government and they are not being left out. We need to deal with issues of social justice so that people feel that justice will apply to all equally. We need to deal with issues of corruption so that people do not hide under the banner of their ethnic community being targeted. A corrupt person does not steal on behalf of a community. He steals on his own behalf. And we need this to come out. And when we say we are fighting corruption, we target no community. We target individuals who commit acts of corruption. And we said we needed to deepen also and strengthen our devolved units so that they are also more accountable because we had devolution. But were these devolved units as accountable <laughs> as they should be to their electorate? These were just some of the broad areas that we said we wanted people to talk about. And we put a team together to go around the country. And we then held a national conference. And we hope in the very near future to be able to have a process that can be approved by Kenyans, that will be owned by Kenyans, and that will form the basis of peaceful coexistence and peaceful democratic elections every year where people don't necessarily feel that they have lost their entire stake if they lose an election. You can lose an election and still be part and parcel of government and you will never be excluded and you will always live to fight another day. Elections are not and we believe in Kenya should never again be fought on ethnic lines, but rather on two opposing manifestos allowing people to choose
between the ideas of one against another and to have political parties where people will join because of the philosophy, the ideology of a party, but not because it represents a particular ethnic group. We have begun that process of reconciliation and I strongly believe that we will succeed in that process and heal our nation. I do believe that the greatest gift that me and my brother can possibly ever leave the people of Kenya is the gift of peace, is the gift of love and unity of all our people. And that is the mission that we're on, that it is possible to disagree, but disagreement doesn't mean hate. We can disagree, but it doesn't mean we hate each other. We must be able to reason together, to respect one another. And I believe that that is the spirit of this prayer breakfast. That if we are to live and to walk in the ways of our Lord Jesus Christ, there would be no war, there would be no hate. Love your brother and do unto him what you would want done to yourself.